What is going on guys? It's Wrath here, bringing you my part 5 of my let's play of Monster Hunter 1. And we've done a couple things. Um, now I don't know if you remember, but I'll just recap you. Uh, last episode we killed the Yayan Kukku, and we made our full Velocipray armor set. Uh, we have Knockout Negated uh, as our skill for this. We're still rocking our Assassin's Dagger. Um, this episode we're going to be completing a few of the green quests such as the mushroom hunt as well as liver of legend so for liver of legend we have to deliver three piscine livers or piscine um whichever i don't know how to say it but um we're going to the desert zone and we haven't been there before so this will be uh, a mission also if you have them uh it would be cool to bring sonic bombs here um, to make sonic bombs, you will need gunpowder and a screamer that can be either gotten from the Yayan Kutku or the Velocidrome. I think they both drop screamers, actually. And then to get the gunpowder, you need to uh, combine a fire herb with a nitro shroom. And that, then you combine the gunpowder with the screamer, and you get some sonic bombs. And I think they get to like, give you a few also. And only two cool drinks. I didn't even think to burn cool drinks. Um, that was probably a mistake. But, um... So these are called cephalos, um, or cephalos, whichever way you choose to pronounce them. Um, and you'll see them when we enter area two right here. Uh, they're kind of like sharks in the ground. Yeah, that's that's a cephalos. Um, now these are just the regular ones. There's also a boss cephalos, <laughs> boss cephalos, a boss cephalos, just like the um, boss philosophy. And um, let's see if we can this one right here that come out of the ground. Yep. They're a little bit stronger. You would assume them to be. You see, it actually took me a, a little while to kill that guy. Be honest with you, and they just spit um, stuff at you like that. We got one Python liver. I don't know if you can carve them more than once. Yeah, you definitely can't carve them more than once. And he's gonna come up and he's gonna spit, and when he drops back down. I don't even know where he went. He's right here. You don't always have to use um, your thing to get them out of the ground. Uh, I actually think they'll come out of the ground on their own. Sometimes, however, their AI is a bit trippy. It makes it harder. It's like that guy, I completely missed all of my attacks on him. And now he's just going to run around for a bit. Um, they keep the same damage on them, though. Sort of been a good time for me to use a sonic bomb, but I think he's gonna turn the opposite way. Let's see what he does. Yeah, we're just gonna sonic bomb. No, we missed! Oh, we got this one up. Perfect, exactly what I meant to do. And that's a move that you'll see all throughout the game. Um, so, it's best to get used to it now. It only gets worse from here. That was nice. He actually knocked him into me. Cool. It's two down. And Piscean livers are a lot like Ceph um like special mushrooms. Um, they're always a drop, but they're never a guaranteed drop. Um, and just like special mushrooms, they also um can be sold for Zinni if you have more than one. They're not an item that you bring back with you to the village. Let's see if we can get another Pythian liver. Yep, that's two. We need one more. Um, now, I'm going to see if I can get to show this off. Um, sometimes it's harder to do it, but I think it's a cool little thing that if you don't have sonic bombs, this is another way of getting them out of the ground. So if I can get one to be still long enough. 
have like a set path, I think. Yeah. Oh, I actually just started that one out of the ground just by me doing that. It's not actually what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is um, place it under them when they're um, jumping out of the ground, and uh, it will give you. Um, it would basically pull them out of the ground. But this guy is being complicated, and I think I'm pretty sure this is the same one. So if I can just get him to do that. Having um, having sonic bombs makes this light years easier to do. Um, let's see if I can carve him while he's doing that. I think the worst thing that'll happen is I get blasted by that. But you know, he stayed up out of the ground, so hopefully he won't dive back under. I won't have to do um, continue fighting like this. I think we can kill this guy right here. Hopefully. So we can blast it again. Okay, we're getting low on health, and I think so is he. I really hope he doesn't dive back. And okay, he's gonna come up. This is where we kill him. No, that was our chance. Alright, you know what? Wait, wait for him to come back around. It's all good. Because we were actually out of Sonic Bombs. Hopefully, we can. It's right, about right there. You see it? Yep, like that. That's what you. That's what's supposed to happen when you do that. And we got our third Piscean liver. Um, these quests I do not enjoy doing. And so I would like them to go as quickly as possible. I also don't have anything in line with, so we're not gonna mine today. Um, at least for this mission. But I just do not like fighting the Cephalos without Sonic Bombs. Because it is just a pain. And I didn't want to have to farm forever just to put out this episode. Because I know there's going to be a few monsters that I'm going to really have to farm for to make it. A, uh, a well-completed mission. Um, which is fine. I just don't like um, farming for gathering quests just to complete a gathering quest. I think that's kind of silly. But there we go. Uh, it only took us about seven minutes to do that. Uh, so, you know, not a, a terribly long mission. But it, it can be if you don't have the, the right supplies. If you were only using uh, two sonic bombs, I could definitely see that being a lot harder of a mission to complete. Um, but I think when we collect those special mushrooms, we're going to get uh, a good fair few nitro shrooms as well. And um, I might do that quest a couple times just to... I'll stack up on some gunpowder and which is good. I mean, I don't feel like you should ever just complete a quest and then just move straight on to the next one um, in a game like this. Uh, I think it's best to take your time and enjoy the ride and you get a lot more um, playability out of the game. Playtime. Uh, we're actually getting kind of rich now. Um, I haven't really bought anything new besides that Velocipary armor. Uh, I don't plan on getting any new armors until uh, until a little bit later in the game, and then we'll start looking at that. But um, let's go ahead and sort our items and, and store some of the things we're not going to need. We don't need a large barrel. There's bombs. The Honeyback streamers and all these, and we're going to sell both of those actually. But let's see what kind of armor we would make from them before we even do that. Oh, there we go. Cephalos home. Well, I need one spin and five scales. And it gives me 11 resistance, but I'm weak to everything but dragon. And since there's no offline dragon monsters, there is no reason for me to need to do that. So we will not build a Cephalos armor, because I think that's a waste of money. 
120 for the jaws, like, dude. Of course I'm gonna sell that shit. Alright, now let's go ahead and, um... Actually, we gotta save the Yain Kukku one more time, so if we can get this mushroom quest done fairly quickly, we will do that. Um, but this is not in the forest and hills, this is actually in the jungle. And I really don't know where to look for them, to be completely honest with you. And we're gonna go ahead and take all of this. And it's always important to grab the pink balls, because... Like, right now I have 15. I would like to have them maxed out, so I never have to worry about not having paintballs. Because um, they're so beneficial. Um, and for quests like these, I really pretty much just run around um, holding the uh, action button to see if there's anywhere for me to pick them up. I think this is an ivy spot. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Actually, if you see uh, nothing found, it doesn't mean there's nothing else there. It just means that, um, you haven't picked it up. Yeah, see? Told you. I thought I lied to everyone for a second there, and, and, because it did it <laughs> twice in a row. I was like, um, okay, now there's nothing else there. Like, when there's nothing else there, it'll tell you. It would have been super embarrassing if I would have just, like, got nothing after I said that. And for the longest time, I didn't know how to get in this area. I don't even think there's anything here. Oh, it's the guru guy. Um, just like in the forest and hills, there's a little guru guy that will trade you things. A butterfly um, thing. Let's see, let's see what we have that he would want. I don't know if I have anything that he would want. You don't say. What a business is here. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to give you a little tip today. Very sure I want to... I just give you tips. Run a screamer with gunpowder, create a sonic bomb. Hmm, weird, I just said that earlier. And then it'll tell you to, to leave them alone after it gives you enough hints. And it keeps making me talk to him. Yeah, I guess if I'm too far away from him, it won't let me do it. Thought I could actually pick up that thing. But I think he said something about going in areas where the moss wine are to get the, um,. Mushrooms, which I think is a um, a good tip, because that's probably where they are. So I'm gonna go straight to area three, um, but we'll go through two um, and, and look around just to check. Um, but you know, picking up ten mushrooms isn't as hard as you would expect it to be. I mean, if you go to one spot and you get four, you have to go to like three different spots, like. Without a far caster, I can see it being annoying, um, and I know this is annoying watching me have to stop every few seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this. But yeah, um, if you only have to go to a couple spots, it's really not that bad, unless you have to run all the way home, in which I will have to do, because I don't have a far caster, because I am bad at videos. Um, so there's a monster right here. Um, and it's pretty much just like that. You just walk around and holding the um, the button, following where they go. And yeah, you see, like we got three already. So there's any over here. Ah, it's the same. Ah, it's all the same spot. Huh? Didn't know that. Thought I had to line. Okay, I need that, actually. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's trying to get me to gather. Still. I think this whole area is just a gathering area. Like, you walk anywhere and it'll pretty much give you the choice of picking it up. I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's Felvine. I'm not going to put that there. This is probably herbs. Huh? Oh, Huskberry. Yeah, I don't really need that. I think Huskberries are for making, like, bomb casings or something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure. 
this Velocip right here, which makes me believe that there are no moss swine here. Because of that fact, there probably aren't any mushrooms here. So we're gonna keep going. Hey. Maybe there's mushrooms here. Ah, oh, worms. Yeah, I don't feel like. Oh, the caves. Mushrooms are in caves. I remember this. I'm like, I was a wee lad. Probably seven or eight. Don't really remember too well. But I know I was super young. And I thought this map, or this area looked so cool, but I never really went here. I don't know why. I think the caves are just too cold. Um, but it's a good place to kill bugs. Sleep herb. Maybe I'm wrong that there are no mushrooms in this cave. But I'm just feeling like there are. And I was right. And there was one. Maybe we'll get one from this moth line. Hopefully. We can pray. Nice, we got one. We can try to kill these best boys. I don't know. I've only killed like one in my entire playthrough so far that didn't shatter when I killed it. And I still didn't bring my stupid pickaxe. I'm gonna buy one when we go back. There's just so many pickaxe places. I think if we go all the way, it teleports us back. I'm not sure about that. Definitely would not take my word for it. Yup. No, it does not. There are some maps in some Monster Hunter games where you go, like, hidden paths, you know? But I guess Monster Hunter 1 did not have that. And so we're going to have to run all the way back. So that sucks. And I'll probably leave a annotation in the video saying um, where to skip to. Because I don't know how to edit this out. Or... You could listen to me babble for another 30 seconds about absolutely nothing. Just me walking all the way back trying to find mushrooms. Aha! Uh -huh, I found some. Pays to use your eyeballs. They look just like, um... I'm not getting any special mushrooms. Aw, oh, double kill. <laughs> obliterated and I didn't even get one that is sort of embarrassing Maybe those are mushrooms over there hard to tell yeah fucking raw meat right I try not to swear too much in these videos but um that's my vocabulary so I don't know why these lobsters are here. If you get too close to them, they just kind of like bounce away from you. It's like a funny little gag thing, I guess. I think we're going to have to go through area 6 and 4. And then loop back around. You see how much that took on my, um, my stamina just being down there in the caves. Because if you're too hot or too cold, um, if you're too hot, it'll take your health. If you're too cold, it'll take your stamina. So it's a pretty weird trade-off and it will kill you if you're in the sun too long you will dehydrate and die now this is where you fight uh, Kieran in the online game but um you can't see me do that because I have no access to the online game oh it's just sad um it would have been nice if there was a way you could download the, the uh, online missions um I'm not exactly sure how to do that if there's a way to do that which there probably isn't But if there is a way, I do not know how to do that. I don't know where these mushrooms are. This is really bad for a video, I think. Because I have no clue where to look. Um... I 
like there's some in here. But I just don't know where. Whoa, that was really trippy. With the camera right there. Yeah, maybe they aren't here. I'm gonna take a vote and say no, they are not here. So let's just get out of here before we get killed by the Velociprey. Hmm. Let's see exactly how many we have. We have five. We need five more. More moss are back. Let's dig where he's digging. Alright. Two. Maybe there's some in area two. I've been to pretty much every area at this point. Um, <laughs> just have no clue where else to look. Aha! More moss mine. Aha! We did it. We need five. So if we can get four from the spot, and then one from that moss wine, we'll be done. Three. Come on. Yes. Okay, last one. Maybe we can even get it from the spot. Oh, we did it from the spot. We don't even need you, you stupid pig. Oh, we can't even carry it anymore. Boy. That was awesome. See, I'm not as bad at this as I thought. See, I thought I was going to be there way longer than that. And we can get honey here, too, while we're here. Dude, this is like efficiency at its finest. Like... Never before seen. I bet you will get at least four. Okay. Uh, there's still some here. That's three. Let's go for four. Probably just gonna get three. Yeah. Oh well. That's fine. Three is good enough. And look how big these abs are also. Like, Jesus. I'm just killing you because you're big at this point. You're a nuisance. You're in my way. I'm not even gonna carve you. Fuck you, Peter. Ah, oh, wrong way. They actually weren't even in my way. Um. So that's awkward. Uh. We're just gonna complete this mission now. Yeah, that wasn't too terrible bad. Um, and those are the missions that are just like, ah, oh, I gotta do it. But, they're done now, so. And you only have to do them once. One one and done. You just get it done out of the way. And you'll never have to do it again. Also, you can rest in your bed. It will heal you for corners. We only got 300 Zenny for it. But hopefully we'll get some, um, some items. Instead of the money. Uh, I'm hoping for at least like 5 Nitro Shroom. That would be like perfection. But not... Um, we only got two. Oh man, that is disheartening. I think we can buy gunpowder from the merchant at, at, at some point. I don't know when it is. But I know eventually um, we won't have to <laughs> do the whole crafting process with him. Um, we're just going to keep everything we have right now, actually go store a few things before we do our next mission, which will be our final mission of the day. And I like to keep everything in order, so I'm con constantly sorting my things. Um, I don't know why. Just a little bit, um... What's the word? OCD, I guess, about that. And I know OCD isn't something to be like lightly talked about because you know, people are sensitive and shit. But yeah, I just I like things to be in order, and that's pretty much it. We actually have a lot of honey. I didn't realize how much we actually had, um, and that's because we really haven't been using it for anything. Oh, I need a. Um, I needed this. This is what I need. And 
then okay, we're gonna max out the herbs. Blue mushroom herb. We're good. And then we can store. Actually, we're gonna take out another herb. So I won't be inclined to not do that. Oh, how many flash bombs do we have? Oh, we have seven flash bombs. Wow. Didn't realize we had that many. Good. Okay. Don't want to do that quest. <laughs> Let's actually read it, though. Find the Wyvern eggs. Um, yeah, 30 minutes. $1,000 reward, including the contract. And we have to deliver two eggs instead of one. Um, we could, you know what? I think we're going to actually do the Yain Kaku and the we have wyvern eggs in the next episode, and we're just gonna go kill some bullfango really quick. Um, I know I keep saying this, so I'm gonna do this before we go. I need five. And, um, you know what? We'll go ahead and buy, buy five bug necks too, and five old pickaxes, and five old bug necks. There we go. Um, now, I just think it's better to invest in things like that like items like that you know they're kind of expensive but if you buy them in bulk at one time it's not too bad and then i won't be worrying about picking them up again because i'll already have them and i don't want to have that as your main it's always like a good idea to use your first aid meds first um, just because of the fact you don't get them back like it doesn't stay in your inventory so i mean might as well use it while you got it now this is probably going to be kind of annoying to have to deal with because of the fact that there's going to be like five or six Bofango in one area. 100% sure. I'm hearing them already. I think there's only like three here, hopefully. Looks to be just two. Oh! Off the ledge. These guys can be pretty menacing. They do a pretty good hunk of damage to you if you get hit by a few of them in a row. That's one down. Probably gonna get ran over right here. I usually carve them for the, the hide. It doesn't sell for much, but I think it's better to just carve. And um, he'll either do two things. He'll shake his head or he'll do his three stomps before he um, chases you. If he shakes his head, he's just going to run straight at you. But if he does his little leg thing, then you have a little bit of time. But I guess it was just the three that were in this area. I'm not sure where the other ones are. I know there's going to be at least one or two in 11, and there's going to be definitely some in 10. So if we're in there, we'll just go ahead and eat that and use our mini wet zone. Now, even if your sharpness hasn't decreased yet, it will bring it back to its maximum um, sharpness. So it's about better to always sharpen before it. Before it um, is less sharp. Because I'm not sure what kind of damage um, it reduces. I don't know all the facts. But um, I do know that it will affect your damage output. However, I'm not sure if um, it affects your damage output if it's not, like, changed color. Like, if it's still the same color, it might still... Um, give you something for it give you something for it no it might still work just as sharp I was trying to figure out if that bullfango was going to disappear before I got to it or not yeah I think they just respawn in this area uh, we only have to kill like four more I think they thought this quest was going to be a lot harder but um, 
I think for somebody that's never played the game before, it would be a little bit harder. Because of difficulty with like animal movements, like they're still unfamiliar with the monsters. AI and the way it like right there. Like a lot of times I just barely miss things because of the audio cues that you're given beforehand. I still die to a lot of things. Um, but I don't think I'll die to these little bangos. Um, I say that we're getting repeatedly ran over. There's actually just be some more up. See, and then the third one, and then you roll. Um, just little things like that. I mean, if you invest any um, amount of time into get a game, you're going to learn all these tactics, so that's just part of it. I don't think any game that's worth playing exists that doesn't require some form of um, dedication to learning. Like, you have to learn. You can't just expect to be good at everything without putting an effort. And that goes for, like, life entirely, like, as a whole. Like, I know too many people that whine and complain about they're not good at anything when they don't put the required effort into being good at it. Like, I think people are too accustomed to things being easy, and because of that, when anything is, is not given to them, um, just like in games, uh, it's harder for them to, I don't know, even attempt it because it's not placed in their hands. I think a lot of that goes uh, down to the way you were raised and what kind of life you've lived, but that's a whole nother topic, and we were just talking about game mechanics. <laughs> And that's what happens when I record for too long. I start talking out of my ass. Um, but we've been talking about 30 minutes now. To absolutely no one until this video is posted. Which is so cool to me. I mean, I'm just talking to no one, but eventually you're going to open this video and watch it. And then we have this weird connection through the power of the internet. And I think that's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, guys. I think that's it. Um, do a few things in town before we end this one off. You know, this game is, is full of a lot of little um, slow points and, and high peaks. But these are the slow points. Um, once we get done with the, uh, what is it, three star missions, we're on to just mainly just fighting bosses. Now, there are a few gathering missions here and there and killing missions, but other than that, you know, most of it is um, monster slaying. And it makes you appreciate it more, I think. I'm going to keep all of those pelts, actually, in case I ever need it for anything else. Is it really like 40 for 9, the, nine a piece for 40? Or 40 a piece for 9 is only like 360 zenny. So I think it's better to just keep things like that um, yeah so far well that's safe back. let's go talk to these guys over here and see what they have for me oh uh, not too much okay. the next episode we will be killing the Yian Kachu and we will be gathering the two wyvern eggs um so I think we'll just kill the, uh, or do the wyvern eggs first, and then kill the Kutku in the forest and hills, and in that order. And then we'll take on our urgent quest, actually. Um, I might just post them as two different videos, but, uh, they will be in the same day for sure. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, now, I don't know if you know how likes work, because I still don't really know how likes work. But it's completely free for you, and it gives me some feedback for my channel. And the more feedback, uh, the better my channel is looked at in the uh, eyes of the YouTube gods, or whoever it is that runs this whole thing. And because of that, my videos will be more likely to be uh, put in a suggested box, where they will be viewed later. And uh, so it matters more than you think. Um, 
and just subscribing i like to see the number be higher i just think that's cool and then you get to see everything that comes out when it comes out because that's more convenient i guess anyways guys thanks for watching it's been wrath and i will catch you guys next time later